Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to some more Dungeons of Dreadmore. Uh, we're going to be going rogue, no time to grind, and as promised in the last episode, we're going to go ahead and pick up Viking Wizardry. Now, I know we had Viking Wizardry last time, but it was more of a support skill. We're going to try to bring it to the forefront as much as possible. I'm thinking Vikings like axes and Berserker Rage. And then... Are we some smithing? Uh, and that'll be sort of our trap disarming skill as well. And then we'll round off with some more wizardy type things. Uh, so like Laywalker. You can do magic training. You can do astrology. When they ask you where you're born, you put down Saturn. Um Hmm, maybe something else to do. Looking here. Thinking maybe magic training to ensure that our... Actually, no. Blood magic. Uh, that'll synergize well with our, our more martial skills. And then... Uh, I'm thinking for our final skill, since as obviously featured in the, the picture there, Vikings have mustaches. We're going to grab Gollomancy so that we can sport a mean mustache golem again. And of course, we're going to be red at math. And we'll hop in for some more Dungeoneering adventures here. All right. And we're going to start off with... Let's see, a Sacrificial Dagger, My Little Anvil... Animated Blade, Power Magic Seal. Okay. Well, let's do this. Go ahead and put on our buff. Oh, nice. We got a leather girdle right off the bat. So we can go ahead and girdle it up for a belt. It's going to add to our block chance and one armor absorption, which is nice. Uh, left or right? Uh, let's go left. The, the character's left, not our left, obviously. I do know left from right. Okay, sweet. We've got two statues just in the very first room there, and that's pretty nice. Um, I guess no reason not to just level up then. Now, grab Scotha's roots. I think for our very first level, we're gonna get the animated mustache uh, because it is just so strong. There's no reason we don't want it with us right off the bat. It's going to be doing work on this first floor. It's basically capable of clearing everything itself. Uh, we'll try to provide some support where we can. You know, we're not a pushover exactly. We do have our uh, magic steel kind of lightning imbued stuff. Picked up a simple wooden shield. Pitchfork, eh, uber chest there. I think uber chest, oh, that was painful. It's, uh, yep, yeah, okay, great, anti-magic field. Um, the uber chest, I do believe, oh man, our mana is very, very low. I wonder if that actually decreases your mana? I don't know what that sound was, but it didn't sound pleasant. I don't know if I stepped on a trap that I couldn't see, or what exactly. Oh no, traps have activated, and like, that popped into existence. Alright, so that did not uh, get us uh, the opened uber chest, which is what I was sort of hoping for there. Um, did find an obelisk right off the bat. And our, our mana is just holding steady with, nope, went down by one. Well, does it get back up to four? Nope. Hey, some more Fairy Watcher. And a side quest, the monstrous horde, Lord Dreadmore's fourth platoon, the prisoner of tonic must be stopped. All right, so we've just unleashed those guys somewhere on the level. Alrighty. 
Mr. Mustache Man, if you could maybe make your way in here, that would be swell. Nice, made short work of the diggle there. Ugh. Um, well, that's not good. When munch on some steak. And hope that it's enough to heal us. Okay, I think we're going to be fine there. Alright. Little tiny nook of a dead end. Go back out here. Oh. Uh, that was terrible. So, obviously, I did not mean to close the door. Uh, come on, Red. We're, uh, we're doing a bang-up job on the beginning of this one. Uh, hopefully, I managed to remember how to play the game in order to get ourselves back to Floor 4 again. Uh, that last run... Pretty awesome, you know, uh, we did, oh, our spell ran out. You know what? All right, we're going to, we never had an opportunity to demonstrate this, and what better time than when a Viking, we are going to booze it up, man. All right, so we drink our first drink. We're now fueled by booze. So for seven turns, we're going to regain mana. We take our second drink, and we get more fueled by booze. We also get a nip of courage, uh, which gives us some additional burliness. Life points, melee power, block chance. Additionally, we gain some caddishness, critical, and counterattack. Then, we're going to have our third drink. It gets rid of that and gives us wizard crunk. You feel like a real wizard. Which gives us negative two sagacity, negative two nimbleness, and two caddishness. So, mana power, or mana points and magic power, both being deducted because of that stuff. All right. So, we pretty much have a two drink limit. That's what we're figuring out here. On our fourth drink, we gain the Balmer Peak, which. <laughs> <laughs> as the description of you can do anything you set your mind to. So right now, we've still got the negative two sagacity, the negative two nimbleness. We still got the plus two to caddishness, but we gained five melee power and five magic power. Uh, also, if you don't already know, Google the Balmer Pink Peak. Uh, it's like the idea that Programming happens at its best at a certain degree of alcohol. All right. So, uh, actually, let's just keep pounding the booze for a moment. We'll call this a social experiment. We now got magically liqueured. Uh, why is the room spinny? Minus five and minus five to sagacity and nimbleness. And minus ten to enemy dodge reduction. In other words... We can't hit things anymore. Uh, and if we have some more, we're dangerously mana blasted. Minus eight, minus eight, minus 20 to block, minus 20 to counter, minus 20 to enemy dodge chance for six turns. Oh, we're up to 21 turns. Can we, can we kill ourselves? No. I think that's the final thing. Because it's up to 35 turns, which is forever, uh, pretty much in the game. Uh, we did find a statue of side questiness monster, Piljafra, the incoming fishmongers, and his horde of underlings, Lord Dreadmore's first company. The fertile cod pieces must be defeated. Fertile cod pieces are kind of a terrifying concept. Like, I'm questioning who they would impregnate, like the person wearing them, or would they be used on a partner? I mean, Critical hit. either way. Uh, one of the only reasons I did that is I still have a mustache golem, so uh, he didn't get drunk with us, so I think we're going to be okay. Oh, uh, can we make that smaller? There we go. So here is Piljafra in the flesh. Let's see about letting our mustache golem Sort him out. 
while we you know, recover from our da dangerously mana minded there. Hmm. You know, I don't think he's quite going to be able to do it. Uh, but we are being fueled by booze here, so we are going to be able to easily resummon him. You need more mana. Uh, or our max mana is actually lower than what it takes to summon that. You need well, more mana. Well, this is terrifying. You need more okay. mana. We may have made a horrible mistake. All for a joke. Uh, let's see. We're going to do Fairy Wander. Oh, we have Vitrol. Yeah, not really any consumables gathered up yet. All right, we're going to dance with him until something awesome like that happens, which allowed us to sidestep him. And then we're just going to uh, navigate a hasty little retreat here for a moment. We'll slip past this sleeping baddie that somehow appeared there. And then... Boom. Mustache Golem is back. Alright. <laughs> well, let that be a lesson to you kids. Drinking too much can get you killed. Occasionally by incoming fishmonger constructs. But, you know, also other real things that exist in the world. All right. We're still going to need to walk it off for just a moment. As our... You know, we can... You so need more mana. Turn Drink that off. More booze. No. You need more mana. Like it. I guess we just need to wait for it to expire. Because it's basically just draining our mana off here. And... I would very much like that to stop uh oh happening yep here's another one of these guys let's turn and fight the diggles um i've got a little bit more faith in our ability to handle them okay and still nowhere near the mustache golem realm Hmm. Okay. Step up, step over. Nice. What we got for food. We'll eat some cheese there. Let the cheese heal us for a couple of rounds as we play Dosa -do with a sickly diggle. Alright, we got him down. Really just, uh, Needing our mustache golem to come back. We could drink some more. But I think we learned that moderation is key when it comes to the drink. Alright, 26. So we're almost there. Oh, wrong spell. Come on. 23, 22, nope, we just maintain. So we gotta drink some more. And then our mustache golem walks right into our own spell. Critical hit. Man, mustache golem may not be enough to deal with them. Which would be terrifying because we are definitely not enough to deal with them. Okay. What skill could we learn that might save us here? Could join the Church of Odin, learn to hate with the skill you have a chance to perform the Viking Strike in melee combat. Viking Temperament, when you defend there's a chance you'll become really angry. Um, chance to train. Thaumaturgic Tap might come in really handy. And Gatir. Hmm. I mean, 
The obvious choice would be Thaumaturgic Tap, which would make sure we're able to keep our Golem alive, which is uh, definitely going to be the most important thing for us on this first floor still. This is a critical hit. Let's see if we can't get in there to provide a little bit of support. If he'll just draw aggro from him for a couple of turns. I think we got this. Oh, that was close. Uh, and suddenly a blobby replaced him. Okay. Critical hit. Blobby almost finished us off. Jeez. All right. Uh, we are still very much in the territory of these guys from the side quest, which is worrisome. We could eat an apple. We could eat some cheese. We do have this fairy wander for some re regeneration that we're probably going to need at some point, honestly. All right, get our golem back out there. Uh, Gollum, where are you going? Um, okay, for whatever reason our mustache Gollum decided to make a beeline for the enemy farthest away from us. Critical hits. Which he is still continuing to do. Alright, let's sort it out all the ones down here. Okay. Nice. And we got an item which appears to be a mace. Crom of the Incarnation of Latinum. Okay. It's irrefutable evidence of Dreadmore's nefarious plans. I mean, it's studded with copper. Come on, guys. Obviously, copper is evil. If you didn't know. I mean, I think everybody knows that, but just in case. All right, so we're not exactly, you know, blowing the doors off of the first floor here. Oh, uh, easy target curse. Not my favorite thing in the world. But I can see how this can come together, you know. Um, we just need to get a couple of levels and a couple of skills, and we can start to see some synergies here between our various abilities. Uh, we do, of course, really want to be shining prior to... Oh, that was dumb. Okay, let's just... Traps are, are not going to be a thing we're going to worry too much about until we have the ability to gain a little bit more like a, the smithing skill I, I believe should sort that all out for us yeah uh, so we're definitely going to want to be considering and preparing for that second floor monsters you know, I assume we're probably not going to get lucky twice in a row, and there's going to be one this time. It's uh, really what allowed us to get to the third floor last time, and subsequently the fourth floor was the absence of a monster zoo on the second floor. Oh man, you guys just keep coming. Potion of purity. That potion of healing is a sight for sore eyes. That was strange. Uh, I had a momentary weirdness for my recording software there, but I uh, think everything's okay. Uh, if it's not, we'll probably know by the time you're watching this. All right, uh, rounded out all that. Need to head this way and up. Hey, here's the baddie that was sleeping the last time. He's not sleeping no more. 
we got another level. Okay. So I'd like to see Vital Siphon, Viking Strike, and Viking Temperament before heading down. Let's start with Viking Strike. We want to be, you know, a little bit more melee, oh man, melee focused than some of the uh, spell casting builds we've had in the past, basically. It looks like you basically just can't cast that directly on somebody. Like, it won't let you. You have to do it in front of them to let them walk into it. Maybe that, of course. Me walking into it wasn't quite what I had in mind, but uh, maybe that'll be something that can come into play on the Monster Zoo. Alright, and... Nope, don't close doors. Okay. Uh, we'll go down. Let's see here. Don't step on that trap. There's a balance here to be had. Uh, when clicking to move, I don't step on traps. But, I also have a tendency to, like, close doors that I'm trying to walk through instead of walking through them. And that can be dangerous in its own right when I'm trying to, like, run away from something. Oh, we've got Siegfried here. Trapped in Diggle form he is. Let's go ahead and get alongside our Golem. If we can. Not enough time there. Alright. Well, that's okay, too. Yeah, we'll just do something like this. In for the backstab. I don't think there are actually backstabs, but you know. Alrighty. So, I'm guessing he was, uh, I didn't notice at the time, but I'm guessing he was part of a side quest uh, in the last of, he was probably the last of those diggles from earlier. Um, maybe he escaped and we just finally caught up to him. Well, yep, that stung a little bit. All for some lock picks. The things I go through, man. Okay. I wouldn't mind participating in a little more heroic vandalism. Heroic vandalism. A bolt of mass destruction. You don't say. Also, I wouldn't mind... Um, haven't seen a crossbow in quite some time, like on a few playthroughs now. Um, oh, jeez. That would make the... Oh, jeez, again. There we go. That would make these bolts uh, a little bit more helpful. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm the worst ever at avoiding traps, apparently. I need to get more than just one trap site so that I see them more than just when I'm standing directly next to one as it's generally too late for me by then. Do you want to maybe come along with us? That would be, that would be swell. Um, thinking about my health. Thinking I want to do something about it. Go ahead and get a little bit of HP up. Nice. This room full of diggle eggs will certainly assist with that. Now when I said full of diggle eggs, uh, two was not exactly what I meant, but you know, it's the thought that counts and Apparently the game thought about giving me two diggle eggs Just thinking more of the memories of times where we've had like six or seven in one room but, you know. oh, Come on Terrible with traps. Okay, maybe we we'll want to grab smithing sooner rather than later as well so that we stop doing things like that. I mean, a poorly timed anti-magic field, uh, I assume, could be real bad. I hear the sounds of machinery, huh? You don't say. Also, I'm more tempted to use the arrow keys to navigate when I have a golem, because I also can't pass through the square he's in when uh, he is standing right next to me. So I've got to... 
press the button to do it, and so it makes me press the button more. All right, uh, food, food, food. Okay, sorted. And we're heading back this way. We'll go up this time. Yeah, little diggle sees me. Oh, nice. Get some burliness. No, some melee power and some dodge chance. You know, I'm not going to turn it down. Uh, it's not fantastic for us or anything, but it's okay. Uh, the only... That was a dead end, right? Like, I mean, we went all the way to the very edge of that, I think. Um, well, that teleporter was like the most conveniently placed teleporter I have ever had. Um, yeah, it's just right here. It's just blocked off. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, so uh, that is going to do it for floor one. Oh, except a sickly diggle decided that we didn't notice him enough and he wanted to also be killed. Uh, there is actually a staircase down right here. Can I? Can I not? I can't close doors like when I'm trying to close doors. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> that is that is exactly what the game is saying right now. There we go. All right. See stairs. I was I was not losing my mind. There were stairs back there. All right. So there are stairs down to the next level right here. We'll go ahead and take those on the next episode. Uh, no shop on this floor. A little bit disappointing. I uh, would like to be able to sell off some stuff and fill out these empty gear slots. We don't have any gloves, we don't have any pants, we don't have any shoes. Uh, right now, the only reason we're not indecent is we're wearing a robe. You know, so it's, it's covering us up. Uh, obviously our character sprite doesn't change, but that's the mental image that I have and you now have in your head too. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe to see more. Hit the like button or leave a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos, and I will catch you guys next time.